Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm excited to have Stacy Reed with the National Drug Endangered Children Alliance here, and she is going to talk to us a little bit about DEC, which is Drug Endangered Children, and we'll use that term from here on out. So welcome, Stacy. Thank you. It's great to be here. So tell us just a little bit about National DEC. Sure, so National DEC is a national nonprofit. We have been around for over 20 years um, and we function as a uh, national training, technical assistance and resource center um, for states, tribes, communities, professionals, anybody wanting to change the trajectory of these children's lives or help them. Great, and what is, um, for your definition, what is a drug endangered child? So when we're looking at um, substance misuse and drug activity, we're really looking at anything that impacts parenting and places children at risk. So whether that's drug use, drug possession, drug distribution, manufacturing, cultivation, any of those impact children and place those children at, at risk is what we're looking at for drug endangered children. Okay, great. And what are some of the services and resources that you provide to those um, entities that you were talking about? Sure. So we provide a lot of different things depending on the need of whether it's a person calling or um, a specific agency, or maybe it's a community that needs help, or maybe it's a multidisciplinary team or an alliance that's already established. And we can provide them with different things. Um, if people look at our website, there's lots of different resources, um, data, information. If people are looking at enhancing their multidisciplinary team or coalition or alliance um, or developing one of those in their community, we have a roadmap and toolkit that can help them with that. And that includes a lot of free items such as brochures and one pagers, different handouts with different information, whether they're looking for um, awareness pieces, how to make the community aware, or whether they're looking at implementing promising practices, or maybe even institutionalizing DEC efforts within their community. So there's a wide array of items that we can provide. Um, we also provide a lot of training. Obviously, right now it's virtual, mm -hmm. um, but we do provide a lot of the virtual um, training, in-person training when we're not impacted by a pandemic. And then we also provide a lot of technical assistance, um, and a lot of that is virtual as well, um, through a podcast, through um, Zoom calls and those kinds of things, and then lots of resources. And um, I think one great thing about National Deck too is we can connect people with lots of different experts in a lot of different areas around substance misuse and its impact. And I know you guys recently developed a couple new tools. So you want to talk about those just a little bit? Sure, um, I can start with talking about our um, online training um, that we have four modules of online training through the Community Oriented Policing Services Office, which is the COPS office at the federal level. Keep in mind too that we didn't develop it just for law enforcement, it was developed for um, every discipline that can impact children. Um, and so there are four modules that are about 30 minutes piece. Um, you can connect through our website um, at nationaldeck.org. They are free. Um, they're a great resource to get people started and just to provide some information. We also have um, been working on a mobile application through the Office of Victims of Crime, and that's kind of a, a current project that we have that people um, will notice going out in information going out via our social media and our website as well. But we're developing an app for victims and professionals um, and people who can support those children um, as victims as well. So it'll provide lots of information. But the cool thing is, is it's going to um, provide um, easy access to information in their zip code. So they'll be able to download the app in their zip code, it will pop up with lots of different resources within their area. Um, so it'll be able to um, kind of hands-on. I mean, it'll be lots of information for folks. Um, and then the professionals can also utilize it for training. We're going to have some training opportunities on there, and they will also be able to connect with some other professionals as well. Great. What a great resource for communities to have. That's amazing. Technology has brought We're us. We're excited. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're excited. I would highly recommend people look on our Facebook page um, and our website for some surveys that we're doing. Um, we've sent out the surveys to and put them up for people to send out to other people. We're just looking for feedback as to what people are wanting and what people think would be useful for the app. So highly recommend that um, everybody fill that out because everybody I think is pretty much impacted by substance misuse um, in some way. Mm -hmm. And while I'm thinking of it, what is your website? I'll drop it in the comments when we're done, but what is your website? It's www.nationaldec.org. So nationaldec.org. Awesome. Perfect. And then I would like also, um, I know I was sitting in on a call and I got to hear um, about the Sesame Street episode um, that is airing. Would you talk a little bit about that? Because I know you guys are excited about that as well. We are. It was a great partnership with Sesame and Sesame Street in communities, um, which is a subset of Sesame Street that that we all knew as children. And so it's an online form um, of you know to provide information to children and families on a multitude of um, different topics. We were lucky enough to work with them um, and task as well on a law enforcement um, video. And so we utilized one of our deck partners out of Okaloosa County, Florida. Um, and she helped us, that officer helped us um, develop this video for, um, to inform people about law enforcement and how law enforcement can help in DEC efforts and can help children and how law enforcement are really looking at uh, drug endangered children issues differently um, and, and, and how that can impact children. And then also how um, the diversion piece, which was the task piece of that um, impacts um, drug endangered children as well. So it's a cool opportunity and we are currently working on some other projects with them as well. Great, that is exciting. Um, love to see the Sesame Street involvement with that. Um, how many, approximately how many states are you guys like in as far as the drug endangered children, either helping out or have alliances or reach. So I can't, I can't think of a state that we're not in. I think um, we are doing some type of DEC efforts in every state. Now that doesn't mean that every state will have a formalized state DEC effort. Um, we have 32 states that have state efforts that are formalized. Um, but even in the states that don't, we have local and tribal DEC efforts. And oftentimes we're just doing training and technical assistance with various communities, even if they don't have a local tribal or state DEC alliance. Um, so I would really encourage people to reach out even if they don't have something formalized, even if it's just to get information. So yeah, if somebody sees this and thinks, I wanna know if that's in my state or I want to start one, they can contact National DEC at nationaldeck.org and you guys will yes. point them in the right direction. Absolutely, we'll, we'll connect them with folks. Um, if we have folks in their local area or within their region or their state, we'll obviously connect them with those folks, but um, we can also provide um, it, whatever they need as well. Okay, that's great. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us and I hope you stay well and healthy. And again, just appreciate your time. Yes, thank you so much and same to you. Hopefully we can do this again um, soon. It's yeah, been great. absolutely. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.